Yahoy! Welcome aboard the sea, monkey. Rosies are rad and barbers are cool. I've got some more dimes. How about you? Good morning and welcome back, coin collecting and stacking family. This is going to be week 12 of the $15 a week challenge. This is a $15 a week challenge put forth by Heads or Tails Living and Cheshire Keith. Uh, then I jumped on board and Golden Spike Stackers, they jumped on board. And we also have, let's see, Miyoshi Bullion's on board, Dissident Aggressor is on board, Miyoshi Bullion is on board, uh, let's see if I can remember this one, AU Family Prospecting and Silver Fun? Collecting Fun? Something like that. Link will be in the description. <laughs> Long names, man. Long names are hard to remember, and names with numbers are hard to remember. When I was trying to choose my name, I was looking at websites and forums and different, uh, like, techniques and tips and tricks type uh, informationals, uh, recommendations on how to name your channel. Not what to name it necessarily, but how to name your channel, like how many words, uh, if you should or shouldn't use numbers, and what kind of names tend to be the best that stick in people's mind and other names that tend to get easily forgotten. Um, and a lot of times it's names with numbers and or symbols in them that tend to get forgotten easily. So uh, yeah, the AU Pros uh, AU family prospecting and it's either like collecting fun or, or silver uh, silver stacking fun it's something like that but anyways the link will be in the description um, so I've got let's see where's my piece of paper where's my notes Ugh. okay week 12 we're coming in with an extra dollar 41 so 1641 is going to be my total available for this week and I spent 1225 of it this is going to be the other auction that I picked up with that Benji and so this was the the other five dimes for eleven dollars that I purchased with that Benji uh, they combine combined shipping so the shipping on this will be a buck and a quarter so eleven dollars plus a buck and a quarter for shipping and I got myself five rosy dimes and in no particular order, we've got a 64. They're all in pretty good shape. And we've got uh, another 64. A little bit more chatter on that one. Still some nice luster though. Look at that cartwheel. <laughs> and another 64. I don't remember if these were listed as BU or uncirculated, but I'm just buying dimes to fill a tube and it works with the challenge. So, yeah. I don't really look to see what dates they are or what condition they're in. When I find dimes for under two dollars a pop, I buy them. I think this was let's see five for ten. And this was a little over two bucks a dime. And five for eleven. Another sixty-four. Again in good shape. Bright and shiny. And another 64. Wow, those are all 64s. Okay. I don't care. And all in good shape. So, a bunch of essentially 
brilliant uncirculated 1964 Roosevelt dimes five of them and I had these in a little vinyl flip and so I'll stick those back in the flip that's how these ones came they didn't come in the cardboard flips Go ahead and leave these in the plastic final flip. So we've got five more rosy dimes. And that cost me $12.25. So that's going to leave me $4.16 going into next week. And I've got some more stuff sitting here that I could have probably pulled from. Uh, a bunch of small individual little auctions. And I could have probably grabbed a couple more items to bring up that two or bring up that four dollars, but I'll just roll it over till next week, and uh, I'll just throw a couple more items in for next week's grab. So uh, yeah, four sixteen going into next week, and I've already got next week covered and the week after that covered easily, and I've got some more stuff in the mail coming. And I've got my eye on some more stuff on eBay, so getting back on track with that. Um, I was getting a little worried there for a minute that I wasn't going to have something for not this week, but next week. But luckily some stuff came in quicker than I thought it was going to. And uh, some other stuff I'm still waiting on. Mail's been weird lately. I've been ordering stuff from eBay and it's been coming in in like a day or two three days four days and, uh, and then like I won something from another channel like on Pi Day on the 14th and that's what three weeks ago and I haven't seen it yet so and I don't know they, they could be super busy in, in mailing their stuff out I know it's a, a bigger channel that uh, the bigger in the sense they send a lot of stuff out frequently so it could have just been that, but uh, I still haven't seen that yet, so I am waiting on some more mail. I do have three pieces of mail sitting here now, so next Wednesday we'll have our midweek mail call. And uh, I haven't looked at my subscriber count recently, but I think I was getting up close to 360. Um, that means we're getting pretty close to our 300, uh, no, 260, sorry I misspoke, 260. We're getting close to our 300 subscriber giveaway. And uh, there very well may be some silver in it. <clears throat> I've gotten some things for uh, some relatively good prices. And uh, I might be able to go ahead and drop some little surprises in the, in the winds there. So don't forget to get on over there and check out the uh, Push to 300 subscriber giveaway announcement video. Watch it for all the details. And then uh, get on over to the comment video and leave a comment. Make sure your comment does contain the prize that you'd like and a backup prize. Also, make sure you're publicly subscribed. Uh, all of those will be requirements. Otherwise, your comment will get passed over because they will all be comment pickers. There's going to be three prizes for shout outs and three prizes just for random comments. And I want to say there's only three maybe four shout out videos out there right now that are eligible so chances are pretty good that legit and bionic are gonna win it <laughs> yeah uh, legit bionic coins and coffee they did shouts king titus did a shout uh, although he's over in japan so unfortunately he's not eligible uh, until I figure out the shipping stuff so I need to get a PO box and I want to get uh, shipping stuff figured out so that I can do international without it being costly or uh, compromising if you know what I mean so we'll go ahead and stick those rosies in the in the box here it looks like we're starting to get pretty full look at that running out of room and uh, I mean I've got like I was saying, I've got the next couple of weeks already, and that's not going to fit in there. So, hmm, time for a bigger chest, or 
something. I either need a bigger chest or I need to take all these dimes out of their flips. <laughs> Too many dimes! I wonder if a dime roll will fit in here. I've got dime rolls. Maybe I could do that. If a dime roll fits in there, it looks like it might. Maybe I'll just put all those dimes in a tube and stick it in there. Anyways, 10 minutes. $15 a week challenge. Five rosy dimes. And that cost, what, $12.25. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool challenge. I really like it. Gives me something to do uh, during the week. Gives me something to hunt for. Um, scouring eBay for the deals can be quite enjoyable. Um, I mean, unless you don't like that sort of thing. But, I mean, I like hunting and hunting and hunting and then, like, the score, the the thrill of finding that really good deal and then putting it on your watch list and watching it for, you know, a few days and, and hoping no one bids on it. And then when you see it, you know, coming up on its 24-hour notice and there's still no bids and you, you start getting excited and you're like, oh boy, and then it comes down to 15 minutes and and someone puts in a bid and you're like, uh oh, okay, here, here comes the sniper war or, or there's still no bidders like this stack of stuff. I didn't have to fight for these. Nobody was bidding on these. So next week you'll get to see what uh, some of these are. And I got a pretty good price. I'll say not quite as good as the week before this when I showed off all those 99 cent dimes. But uh, still a pretty good price. And uh, I'm not disappointed. It's my my threshold. Like I said, I got a kind of a mental threshold on how much I want to spend, and those came in just under my mental threshold, and uh, got a whole bunch of them, and they were all individual um, auctions, and so I had to bid on each one, of course, and then wait for an invoice, combined shipping, all that. But uh, it also it allows me flexibility when I get 20 items like this. Actually, this I think was only 13, but when I get this many items and they all cost, you know, a buck or two a piece, I can pick and choose how many I want to use or which ones I want to use for my next week's video based on how much money I'm rolling over with. So it really does allow a lot of flexibility uh, purchasing the small individual lots like that or individual auctions. I keep saying lots, individual auctions, single item auctions. Uh, and then being able to combine them uh, together to be able to do these $15 a week challenges. Uh, speaking of challenges, I do believe I'm also going to be jumping on board with Expat Stacker and Inefficient Stacker, the fish, on the 100 Pieces of Gold Challenge. I will give a quick sneak preview of my first piece of gold here. And I did purchase two pieces at the same time, so, I mean, you can call the other one my first, or you can call this one my first. This was the first one I decided I wanted, and I had put in my cart, and had in my cart for quite a while. So this is the one I'm going to call my first piece of gold, because it was the first one I decided I wanted to get. But it's a one gram Canadian maple leaf. And it's quite amazing how they get that crazy detail on there. Anyways, yeah, Expat Stacker and Inefficient Stacker. I will drop their links in the description as well. They're doing a hundred pieces of gold challenge. And then Expat Stacker and Anonymous Stacker, um, who has kind of disappeared off the YouTube radar lately last i heard he had some i want to say theft issues someone stole some stuff from him so i hope all the best for him but uh expat stacker and anonymous stacker have come together to put forth a 1000 pieces of silver challenge which i'm also going to be hopping on board with um so yeah, I'm going to go through my complete stack and I'm going to count up all my individual pieces of silver 
And yes, a dime is a piece of silver. So there is five pieces of silver right there. Expat, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a, I got a handful of individual pieces of silver here. So that sounds like an interesting challenge. I am definitely on board for that. The gold challenge, on the other hand, that's not going to go so fast. Uh, I'm up to four. I'm up to four pieces of gold, and I'll make videos on that as I go. Oops. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford a lot of gold very frequently. So that'll probably be like a video a month or a video every other month for the gold. Um... But the thousand pieces of silver challenge, I'll probably do a weekly video um, updating you on my current totals of pieces of silver. Now, I'm not sure which day I'll do that yet, but uh, I'm trying to streamline and, and be consistent and get it to where I've got a piece of content each day. Um, I'm using the coin close-ups as fillers right now. Um, as I add in these challenge videos, like for the gold and for the silvers, um, I'll give them designated days and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to make this as clean and a professional as a, a channel as I can, minus my bumbling talking. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're all human. None of us are perfect. Poe buddies nerfect, as they say. But, uh, yeah. So, look for those future challenge videos to come out. Uh, links for Expat, Inefficient, and Anonymous will all be in the description below. Along with these guys and the other people I mentioned that are in on the $15 a week challenge. Which was inspired by the $10 a week challenge. Who I believe was brought to you by Millstacks and the number 4. All right, guys, I think that's everything I've got for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. It went a little bit longer as I started to ramble there at the end, but that is some information I wanted to get out there to you. I hope you stayed till the end. Thank you so much for all your support and for watching. I hope you all have a good night, and God bless.